Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this problem, we have an infinite sum. So it's the sum from 1 to infinity of 1 over the quantity n squared times n squared plus 4. And the question is, does it converge or diverge? So the intuitive way to do this, so intuition, should tell you that for large values of n, you can pretty much ignore the 4. So this is approximately equal to 1 over n squared times n squared. Well, n squared times n squared is n to the fourth. So this is very similar to a p-series. Here p is 4. It's bigger than 1. So this should converge by the p-test. However, we can't just use the p-test um, in this problem because we have the 4. So what we'll do is we'll compare it to a p-series and then invoke the power of the p-test. So let's do it. Solution. So to use the comparisons test to show convergence, you start by writing this down. So 1 over n squared, parentheses, n squared plus 4. And you want to show that this is less than the a sub n of a series that converges. You can think of this as your a sub n here. So this is less than or equal to 1 over n to the fourth, right? Because you can drop the 4 just like we did over here in our intuitive explanation. And this fraction here on the left is smaller than this fraction because the bottom on the left here is bigger, right? n squared times n squared plus 4 is bigger than n, n to the fourth, right? n to the fourth is really just equal to n squared times n squared. So by dropping the 4, we're making this fraction here bigger. And then you have to explain why the series converges. So this series... Notice we're talking about series here, so it's important to put the summation notation here. This guy here converges by the p-test. And it's important to explain why. So since p is equal to 4, which is bigger than 1. Remember, if it's bigger than 1, it's going to converge by the p-test. If it's less than or equal to 1, it will diverge by the p-test. So we showed that this is less than or equal to this, and if you add up all these guys from 1 to infinity, you have convergent series. So that means by the direct comparison test, our original series will converge. So by, I'll just say, DCT, direct comparison test, our original, I'll say OG, OG means original, series converges. So happily abbreviating things. So DCT means direct comparison test, OG means original. That's it. I hope that made sense.